I know you've been curious about whether the game will have microtransactions, given the history of controversy surrounding them in Payday 2. So, let's dive into what we know so far. Back in the day, the introduction of microtransactions in Payday 2 was met with mixed feelings. The developers, Starbreeze Studios, initially said they wouldn't include them, but they changed their tune and added them in a big update in 2015. Eventually, they removed the system in later updates, which helped regain the support of the players. Still, there was some lingering unease in the community. Now, with the release of Payday 3, the burning question is whether microtransactions will be part of the game. Well, brace yourselves because Starbreeze has confirmed that yes, Payday 3 will indeed have microtransactions. However, before you panic, let's dig into the details. According to a blog post on the Steam forums by community manager Elizabeth Elvestad, microtransactions in Payday 3 will allow you to buy in-game items using real money. But here's the catch. These items will be purely cosmetic and won't affect gameplay. So, you can expect things like masks, suits, weapon skins, and gloves to be up for grabs. The good news is that any new heists or characters will likely be featured in free updates or full DLC releases. But wait, there's more. Payday 3 will also have DLC that includes exciting new heists, tailor packs, and weapon packs. Now, where things get a bit tricky is how Starbreeze will distinguish between premium content from microtransactions and content that's part of the DLC. It's a bit of a gray area at the moment. So, there you have it, folks. Payday 3 will introduce microtransactions for cosmetic items, but they won't mess with the gameplay. And keep an eye out for the DLC, which promises even more thrilling content. Now go gear up and get ready for some epic heists.